Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. We're in the car, which if you read the title, you know means we're going squishmallow hunting. Um, I haven't had a chance to like properly squishmallow hunt in a while. I've still been like buying some and I actually have a couple Valentine's ones, which I'll probably show at the end of the video. But I wanted to go today and I want to look for both a combination of Valentine's, which for us is about next week or so. And then I also want to start looking for Easter Squishmallows, which are out and about, at least according to some emails that I've gotten. So we're just going to be going to some places today. Uh, my primary goals are Five Below, which we are currently at. We're also going to go to CVS and then we're going to go to Cracker Bro, which I've never Squishmallow hunted at before. So I'm really excited about that. And then we probably will also stop into Target. And then I think there's a Kohl's near there, which I've also never shopped at for Squishmallows specifically. So we're gonna go into Five Below and see what we get. I don't know what I'm looking for, honestly. So far I've bought this cute, adorable little Bigfoot, which I'm so happy I found in a small size because when I was at Walgreens, I found it in like a 16, like a huge, like 16 inch size. And I just can't do that with my living space. I don't have room for it. And I also got this adorable little clip and I've also gotten a strawberry milk so far. But I really like cows, I really like cats. I like all sorts of stuff, um, so we're just gonna see what cute guys we can find, okay? So Five Below had the same stuff as when I went there just a couple days before Sunday, and if you don't know, Sunday is like drop day for Five Below. So I was expecting to maybe see some stuff, because the email I got said there was like maybe gonna be Easter squads dropping, which is a little early, but also it's like almost Valentine's Day, so I kinda got it. But when I got there, I just looked through the Valentine's section, which has this display case right here. There's also a display case right by the entrance, which just has the same stuff as the other one. And then in the back, they have this bin that mostly has Sanrio characters as well as Lilo and Stitch. Um, but it was nothing that I hadn't seen already. I would kind of already looked through all this stuff. So we ended up leaving without getting anything. So first of all, for how tucked away in a corner this Cracker Barrel is, like it's not super easy to get to. It's busy as hell. I didn't expect, I don't know why I didn't expect, it's like almost lunchtime, but it's like a Monday and it's a sit down restaurant. So I didn't expect it, but it's a lot of old people primarily. I saw all ages, but there was a lot of elderly people. So when I went in there first, I found this display set that was in the corner and it was just like guys of all, all sets and stuff. And I was like, hmm, I wonder where their Valentine stuff is. I did find an Easter section, but there wasn't Squishmallows in the Easter section. And then I found the Valentine stuff. So if I had found this before I found my little Bigfoot, I probably would have really considered getting one of these Bigfoot sets here because I really like it. It's really cute. But the way it's stuffed, it almost feels like they're overstuffed. Honestly, all of them there kind of felt like they were overstuffed and it made the Bigfoot look really cylindrical and I didn't like that. So it, I'm glad I found the smaller one because I really like my smaller one. And then I was looking at these axolotls and this frog. So I already have this frog in a clip and I was like, I don't need another one, even though it's adorable. Again, overstuffed, they felt overstuffed. But the more I looked at this axolotl, the more I liked it and I ended up buying one. I ended up buying a little axolotl, super duper cute. And then I found what I didn't know I was looking for. I got up to the cash register and on the shelf there was this adorable little donkey, okay? Oh my God, they're just, look at their little flower crown. They're from the Easter set and so like, I was wondering if Easter Squish were going to be out. I kind of thought they would be. They do feel like a little overstuffed, kind of like the other ones do. Like, they just look really... Now they look better because I fluffed them a little bit, but they almost looked like a sphere. You know what I mean? But first Easter Squish of the video. First Easter Squish of the video, which I'm pretty excited about. So that makes me hopeful to find more Easter Squish because I've seen a lot of the Valentine's ones at this point because they've been out for a second. And there's not like a ton more I wanted, but I didn't see that axolotl previously. So I'm still pretty happy. Next, I think we're going to go to either Kohl's or Target you'll see in a second, all right? So I decided to go into Kohl's first because I have some additional errands to run at Target. Like I said before, I've never Squishmallow hunted at Kohl's before, so I knew it'd be in the kids section and that's like in the back corner of the store. Um, it was very limited, but I did find this super adorable frog. Oh my God, they're so cute. This like minty color and they've got the Easter print all over them. I adore them. Then as I was walking towards the cash register, first of all, I found a St. Patrick's Day display uh, and it was actually super cute, especially these little planters. And I just want to know why there's not more St. Patrick's Day Squishmallows. I think they'd be adorable. Beside the point, I found the Easter section and it ended up being a little more eventful than I thought. Uh, the Squishmallow prices at Kohl's are actually cheaper than the Squishmallows at Cracker Barrels, which is really cool, but they are made by different manufacturers technically. But I ended up finding this patty and I love the cows so much. And I have a little six, four inch patty, I think is what it, the measurement is. I'm bad at measurements um, and I love her but she doesn't have a tag and then this one's so cute and it has little bunny ears. The stitching is like a little wonky right around the waist but like I had I literally like had to get it but they ended up being uh, not a bad price. I'm hoping I don't find anything more cute because I've already spent a little bit of money. Oopsie. Why go squishmallow hunting if you're not prepared to spend a couple dollars but 
We're going into Target and then we will swing by CVS and I think that'll be the end of it. We shall see. So Target next, right? Really chill, by the way, at like noon on a Monday. That's a really nice time to go to Target. So first of all, the Squishmallow section was overflowing. Lots of giant guys to look at. Nothing that I was particularly interested in, but they were like falling out of the damn shelves, all of them. There were several cuties there, but again, nothing that I wanted to spend money on personally and a lot of them were really too big for me. Now, the Valentine's section was like strictly massive guys. So here's the thing. I went to Target several days ago and there was someone who had these little like four inch Valentine's Squishmallow that I hadn't seen before and they were clearly Valentine's ones. And so I was hoping those would be there, but both times I was never able to find little guys. So I don't know if they were somewhere else in the store. I kind of looked through like the kids clothes to see if maybe they have a random display. And I also looked in like some other places, but I didn't find any. If you guys got any cute like four inch Squishmallows for Valentine's Day from Target specifically, let me know if they were in the Valentine's section or not. And maybe it's just my Target that's weird. I don't know. But they also had a lot of really cute Valentine's baskets. The cute little like rainbow zebra looking one, that one was adorable. The Wendy looked a little wonky, but like that's just my opinion. But now we're gonna stop by CVS on our way home and that will be our last stop for the day. All right, and then we'll do a little chit chat outro, okay? So the CVS ended up being honestly a bust. I've been to a CVS before to try to Squishmallow hunt. And even though it says on the Squishmallow wiki that CVS is like a carry, like they carry Squishmallows, I've never seen any sort of like section dedicated to them or even like any supply at all. This place had one. After looking around a lot, I found a single Squishmallow. To be fair, it was a very cute Bigfoot, but again, I found one previously at Five Below and I'm still happy with that one. After that CVS though, I came back here. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoyed my little Squishmallow hunt. I want to go ahead and give you a little update about some of the new Squishmallows I've got uh, in addition to the ones that we've got from the haul, right? So I'll just give you a little look-see. Uh, since you last saw my Squishmallows, I did get one for Christmas. It's the black unicorn that is up here. It's a baby version of the one I already have. My friend got it for Christmas and I love it. It's so cute. I think that's like the main one, but here's just an overview anyway. As you can see, we've reorganized a little bit. I ended up adding the donkey in. With the Bigfoot and the cows, I felt like it fit the color scheme really well. There used to be a bat there, which I then moved up to the spooky shelf. Estrella did have to come out of the frog shelf it is now a frog and axolotl shelf that's all that's there i rearranged it i really like it i think it's looking cute there used to be a pineapple in this food i really like the strawberry milk up there better the pineapple is now in the corner shelf which i've showed you guys in other videos but we're not going to do an updated tour of right now because there's only like three guys over there it's fine patty is now on the back of my headboard pickles is chilling on top of her oh oh this hyena this hyena's new oh my god i found this hyena recently while i was out of town visiting a friend and also doing some agility i love them i love them so much they're probably one of my favorites now Instant cat. and then i think that's about it honestly you can kind of see where the other guys ended up the ones we bought today you can see where the frog ended up you can see but here's just an overview again in case you want a little look i'm pretty happy with how today turned out I'm hoping to do maybe some more Easter looking later. I don't know if it'll be a video. I don't always have the funds to do like a full hunt, but I hadn't done one in a while and I'd be really itching. I'd been like, I just kept thinking about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a very fantastic Valentine's Day. If you guys got any fun seasonal squish recently, uh, let me know in the comments. Like what's your favorite? Who's your favorite Valentine's squish? Like who's your favorite Valentine's edition, you know? Or did they do your favorite dirty in their Valentine's edition? Do you have any Easter ones you're looking forward to? Tell me in the comments, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you want more Squishmallow content. I do see some of you guys hanging around in the Squishmallow videos. So like, it means a lot to me. If if you watch me for Squishmallow content, tell me. Like, I'd love to know if I have any like Squishmallow vaguely exclusive viewers. That'd be kind of neat. But either way, I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month and year. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.